Hey, this is Brandon with Inner Man Loadout. Thank you for joining me. This is actually my first video. So I was thinking about what to talk about and I really wanted to honor my dad. My dad's been dead now for about two years and um, man, I sure miss that guy. Made a lot of mistakes, but um, when they're gone, they're gone and you miss them. Uh, the topic is dad's EDC. And I can tell you right now, my dad never knew what EDC stood for. Um, so this is not something that um, he would quite understand, but nonetheless, he believed in carrying some things, three things in particular. And so in honor of my dad, I wanted to share the three EDC items that as a little boy, he would drive into me and then my brother and then even my sisters. He was um, pretty adamant that um, even the girls would carry at least some of these items. So what are the three EDC that my dad would recommend? So number one is a billfold. <clears throat> now this is actually called the wallet, uh, made by Spe uh, Spec Op brands, Spec Ops, that's right. But my dad called it a billfold because he believed in carrying cash. And you know what, this is comical. You know you can tell a guy's married with kids when there's not much cash in here. Well, let's say, let's say this five is a 20 or even a hundred. So my dad always believed in carrying cash because why is that important? Because cash can get you a yes when there's usually a no. Um, cash will open a door for you. Uh, my dad was somewhat of a businessman and um, when he saw opportunities to make money, sometimes you gotta spend money to make money. So how important is for you to carry cash on you? Um, so I would say number one, he would always say, son, carry a billfold. So I got digging around and, um, in my little keepsake box and I actually found my first billfold that he gave me as a kid. I must've been four or five years old. Uh, it's got the little Ford emblem on it and I actually looked in it and there's nothing in it sadly, but I still got that. So, you know, the one thing I told my son as he was growing up is son, get you a billfold and you know, hopefully you got some cash you can put in there. So that's item number one, carry your billfold. Item number two, my dad would say, always carry a pocket knife, son. And, um, you know, for me, today I carry a uh, Spyderco Paramilitary II, um, just a one blade knife, very well made, very expensive. Uh, do you need a Spyderco Paramilitary II? Maybe. But um, he would never probably carry this. Matter of fact, he would carry something like uh, maybe an old timer. I think this was actually my grandfather's. This thing has been sharpened so much that the blade is shorter. Uh, he might carry a case knife. That would be an expensive knife for my dad to carry right there. Uh, one thing he struggled with was um, opening a knife. He had arthritis in his hand, so really he needed a, an exposed blade that he could grab a hold of and open it. So that was important. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get my dad a, one of those that you just, you know, kind of like the spider cut where you can just open it. Um, and I'd buy my dad these nice knives, not this expensive, but I would get him, you know, a $50, $60 knife for Christmas. And um, the next time I'd see him, it'd be gone. Like he'd, he'd go back to a cheap knife like this and I was it, it hurt my feelings at first but I, I know what he did because he was he would always bargain with people you know if he saw an opportunity to make money on something or to trade somebody something he would do that so I think what, we, what was happening was he was taking these nice gifts that he was getting and he was actually either trading up to something else or maybe he was just gifting it to someone either way it doesn't matter um, but you know what we do the same thing um, you know, if you're into gear like I am, you'll you'll buy an item and uh, you'll get what you can afford, like this Spider Co. <clears throat> I don't know what this thing cost at the time, maybe 125, 130. I think they're more than that now. But I can always trade up on this knife. Like this is such a popular uh, knife that um, if I see something else I want, I can easily um, trade or sell. So. Keep that in mind when you shop for a knife. Do not, do not buy a cheap knife like this one. 
This one, pawn shop, $5. I was like, man, it looks good, five bucks. Here's the problem with it though, it's, it's um, made overseas. I'm not gonna knock the country, but it's got a liner lock, just like a lot of the modern tactical knives, got the pocket clip. But in the lock position, if I put pressure on the back of the blade, I can collapse it. So not only do I not want to carry this knife because of safety reasons, I can't even sell it. I, I can't even, with good, um, uh, doing the right thing, I can't even give it away. I'm afraid somebody's going to get hurt with it. So basically I spent five bucks, just threw it out the window. So don't, don't cheap out on your knife. You don't need a spider co. Um, I would just say get a good pocket knife and carry your pocket knife. So billfold, pocket knife. So third thing, um, this is the third thing my dad said, carry always son, carry a wristwatch. So here we go, dad. I hope you're proud of me. I got all three things on me. I got my billfold, my pocket knife and my wristwatch. So this wristwatch, um, I've got others, but this is the one I wear every day. It's a deep, deep blue dive watch, not a cheap watch. Um, there again, I, I think how much, how much can I spend that it doesn't hurt too bad, but you know, I can trade this thing up. This can be a bargaining chip if I need it to be. Um, so I usually don't chip out, uh, cheap out on the knife. Uh, I might eventually get one that counts my steps and has GPS and all that good stuff. But um, you know, if it just tells the time, I'm fine with that. So why is a watch important? What, what does the good book say? Number your days, let man number his days. Well, you can number your hours, you can number your minutes and seconds too. And for me, when I wear a watch, I'm saying I value time. That is the most important thing that we have is time. Um, it's not your net worth, because you know, whatever your net worth is, you'll trade it all for time for yourself or for your family. So time is the most important thing that we have. <clears throat> when I wear this, I'm saying, I know what's important. My time's important, and I'm also saying that your time's important. I'm a man of my word because I have a watch. I know it doesn't really mean that, but it can, it can be taken that way. You care about, um, you care about your schedule. You care about other schedule. You're thinking of others when people see this. You're, um, you got it together, kind of say. You, you're a businessman. You can be trusted. So you billfold, your pocket knife, and a watch. Thank you, Dad, for your advice. Thank you for um, getting me curious about all the gear that I now carry, which is more than the three. Um, depends on the day, depends on the place. Uh, I miss you, Dad. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, leave me a comment, maybe, what's your dad's EDC? And, um, and if you are a dad, what are we teaching our sons and daughters to carry every day? Thanks for joining me. Inner man, have a good day.